Hello and welcome to yet another video here on the YouTube channel STF Wargaming Studio. My name is Andres Norwegian Viking and today we are unboxing the Heroes of Lake Town, Hilda, Bianca and Percy. So these models uh, just arrived here. It's, it's been kind of a delay getting to me but again with these unboxings it's not really about showing what is newest. Uh, it's showing what you can expect when you buy the models. So you can watch these videos and then you can, can ask yourself is this something I want, is this something I need before you make the purchase. So let's take a look at these models under the hard camera now. Alright, so we are back here with our unboxing of the Heroes of Lake Town, Hilda, Bianca and Percy. So let's have a quick look and uh, I just opened up with a knife the blister to give easier access to the contents inside. So let's have a look. We have several bits. So here we have Braga's body. Here we have Hilda Bianca's body. We have a sprue of, uh, of base inserts. Two bases, of course, because there are obviously two models. And then we have a sprue where all the bits have uh, been removed during transport, it seems. Um, and hopefully all the bits are here, so let's have a see. Have a look. So we have the bow for Percy, Hildebanker's spear and Percy's arm and fingers. So. Seems that everything is there because obviously the second arm of Hilda is on her uh, on her uh, body. All right. So shall we take a look at the bases first? Right. So as you can see here, there's a base A and a base B. So I would presume that base A fits on Percy, who is number A, as you can see on the base. And um, yeah, these look really nice. I, I love these new base inserts and, and the fact that they are optional. Um, most In most cases, I don't like to use other bases than the ones I make myself. But uh, for a lot of people, these are really, really cool. And I do think they are cool. They're just not, maybe. Maybe not just for me. All right, so that's the base inserts. And uh, since Percy is number A, let's take him next. Right, so we are focused, and I had heard, because I've been late getting to this model, I had heard that this is a beautiful model, and I can't really fault anyone for saying that. This is an absolutely stunning model. Just look at that facial detail. He is a, he's a quite rugged, rugged man. Nice looking facial features, nice cloak as well, cool swirls in and movement. In, in his cape. Alright, looks very good. So of course he has a bow which is slightly is looks like a recurve bow and that goes into his arm there. My depth perception is way off when looking into the camera. Seems like it's go, going to be slightly like this looks good. It looks like a good solid bow. Not too thin either because obviously this is resin so wouldn't want it to break. And it seems to be no real mold lines as well. No ear holes. And the same fact can be said for the real model. And his, uh, his last arm, really tiny. Don't know if we can get this properly on, uh, on camera. But yeah, all the fingers are there. Looks properly, uh, properly done. No real mod lines, no real air bubbles. It's all good. All right. So lastly, we have Hilda Bianca, and Hilda also very, very good likeness to the movie. I think she is a awesome character added to the uh, to the movie, and, uh, and yeah, there's a slight air bubble just there. That's very very slight and a bit bubbling down there as well and there so there is a bit bit more than we used to on this particular model but it's fine this is nothing major it's nothing like fine cast good model and her spear is crooked 
that might be for just because of the transportation. So a quick blast of a, uh, a hairdryer or a bath in a hot cup of water will do it uh, to straighten this out I believe. So no real issues here. No breaks, no bends, no real... oh, sorry. Maybe, don't know if this is part of the sculpt or not, at the tip there. If that's an air bubble or a part of the spare which is like jagged. Looks a bit jagged so it might be part of the sculpt. But yeah, this is a very cool box and uh, and completing the Survivors of Lake Town list. I don't think there are any sculpts not available for the Survivors list. Uh, there is one sculpt not available for the uh, for the Lake Towner so far, and that is uh, per um, not Percy. It is uh, Braga, but obviously the the Lake Town captain. Uh, Lake Town Guard Captain is based on Braga, the imagery of Braga, so it might just be uh, to use him. Could probably convert another head clip off and, and do a head without the uh, the helmet on to get that achieved. So yeah, uh, really cool. Uh, nice to, to complete that army finally and get the last models I need for that one. Uh, will be a while before I get to paint them though, but now I am complete again. I have all the models. So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I've been Andreas Norwegian Viking and this has been my unboxing of the Heroes of Lake Town, Hilda, Bianca and Percy. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. And consider supporting STF on Patreon using the link in the description below. It is a fantastic way for you to support us in our endeavours here at the studio. Helping us expand, helping us get lighting, camera equipment and much more things. Adding to the quality of our videos on a daily basis including being part of a wonderful community and you'll get rewards such as exclusive videos, early releases and physical merchandise depending on your pledge level. So click that link in the description below to give us a support. And as ever, support your hobby.